it's because of what I saw in that Christian school and then what I saw in that public school and what kept happening to me. And I'm like, I'm never going to be, this is, see, this is the vow. And so what will happen is you make a vow that says, I'm never gonna. And then all of a sudden you live out that vow and it's, it's serious. So there's a lie too, that comes along with the vow. And that lie was, I have to protect myself because nobody else will. And then I believed another lie. It's my fault that the assaults keep happening and you make a vow and you make a lie. So there are structures that do perpetuate shame and create idolatry from theology. And so when the Lord was healing me, he said, date me a while and let me show you how it's supposed to be. And so I did. I, I let him strip every self-protective armor. And what came out of that was who I always really was as a child but that got stained along the way because of that spirit of lust that was coming against the family that was in the generational line that was attacking me and bringing people that shouldn't have been into my life to assault and hurt and wound. And so I remember one day the Lord gave me that vision of shame as a root system, pride as the stump of a tree, and people will see the trunk and the leaves and the fruit, but a lot of times they don't see that the root is shame. 